Welcome to this Schooling Online production. In this lesson, we will cover Module 1, Properties and Structure of Matter, and the topic, Properties of Matter. We will focus on the concept of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures, which is addressed in the HSC Chemistry Syllabus Content 1.1.1 and outlined below. In the previous lesson, we introduced mixtures as two or more substances that have been physically, and not chemically, combined and can be separated through physical means. For example, a mixture of gold and sand formed when Blackbeard buried his treasure. He could physically separate this mixture using a sieve, removing the smaller sand particles and collecting the precious gold coins. However, it is important to understand that not all mixtures are alike. Some substances combine evenly in mixtures, but others do not. In this lesson, we will explore the two main types of mixtures, homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures behave differently. We'll also look at solutions, which are a special type of homogeneous mixture. Let's start with heterogeneous mixtures. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture that has variable composition and properties, as the prefix hetero means different. In other words, heterogeneous mixtures have varied characteristics because their components are unevenly combined. Let's revisit Blackbeard and his pirate ship. He's just sailed away from the island where he buried his treasure. Oh no! Blackbeard lost his balance and tipped his boot full of sand into the last barrel of clean water. He's clearly been drinking too much rum. If we look inside the barrel, we can see a mixture of liquid water and solid sand. This is a mixture of two pure substances. Water is a compound made of hydrogen and oxygen atoms while sand is a compound made of silicon and oxygen atoms. After some time, the sand will sink to the bottom of the barrel because it is denser than water. In exams, you may be asked to draw models of different mixtures. The mixture has formed two layers, as most of the sand has sunk to the bottom of the barrel. Therefore, your model should represent a similar distribution of water and sand. This is a heterogeneous mixture as the water and sand are unevenly combined. Therefore, it has variable composition and properties. The top layer contains water with a few suspended sand particles, which is quite safe for drinking. The bottom layer mainly consists of inedible sand. Therefore, if you were a thirsty pirate, you could drink the top layer of this mixture, but not the bottom layer. Of course, sandy water doesn't taste good. Like all mixtures, the water and sand can be separated by physical means. If Blackbeard wanted to drink pure water, he could filter the mixture. Filtration is a separation technique where solids are separated from fluids using a medium that only allows the fluid to pass. We'll discuss this in our upcoming videos on separation techniques. Blackbeard might use filter paper that has holes bigger than the water particles, but smaller than the sand particles. He could capture the water in a bottle as it flows through the filter paper. Now let's move on and discuss homogeneous mixtures. In chemistry, a homogeneous mixture is a mixture that has uniform composition and properties, as the prefix homo means same. In other words, homogeneous mixtures are evenly combined and have consistent characteristics. Let's check up on Blackbeard. Uh-oh, now he's drinking a cup of seawater. One of the pirates is playing a prank on him. If we look inside his cup, we can see a mixture of liquid water and aqueous salt. This is a mixture of two pure substances. Water is a compound made of hydrogen and oxygen atoms, while salt is a compound made of sodium and chlorine ions. 
But unlike the previous case, the mixture looks just like pure water. The salt in this mixture is evenly spread throughout the water. Therefore, if we were to draw a model of this mixture, it would show a uniform distribution of water and salt. The seawater is a homogeneous mixture, as the salt and water are evenly combined. Therefore, it has uniform composition and properties. So, if you were a thirsty pirate, you wouldn't want to drink the top layer or the bottom layer of this mixture. Both layers have identical distributions of salt, and both layers would taste equally salty. However, seawater can be turned into fresh water by the process of distillation. Distillation is a separation technique where two substances are separated by their boiling points. We'll discuss this in our upcoming videos on separation techniques. Here, Blackbeard could heat the salty water, then condense the steam in another container to get pure water. When steam is condensed, it changes state from gas to liquid. Blackbeard would be left with solid salt crystals in the original container since they don't evaporate. Now let's look at solutions. A solution is a homogeneous mixture in which the dissolved particles are extremely small. These dissolved particles may be ions, such as chloride ions or sulfate ions, or small molecules, such as oxygen or glucose. In other words, the particles in the mixture are invisible to the naked eye, and they are distributed evenly throughout. Solutions may exist in the form of liquids or solids. Solutions are made of one solvent and at least one solute. A solvent is a substance that dissolves a solute to form a solution and is present in higher concentrations. A solute is a substance that dissolves in a solvent to form a solution and is present in lower concentrations. For example, seawater is a common solution of salt and water. Seawater is a very stable mixture and the salt particles are invisible to the naked eye. Salt is the solute because it dissolves in water and is present at lower concentrations. Water is the solvent because it dissolves the salt and is present in higher concentrations. Let's pause for a moment to look at the types of questions you could be asked in exams. Questions will ask things like, is a given mixture homogeneous or heterogeneous? What are the similarities and differences between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures? And how can we represent homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures? The answers for each question may vary, especially if you are asked about specific mixtures. Now, Let's look at a sample question. Compare and contrast heterogeneous mixtures and homogeneous mixtures. Use a diagram and an example for each type of mixture to illustrate your answer. Pause here to think about what you could include. The key verbs used in this question are compare and contrast. This means we should state the similarities and differences between these two types of mixtures. We'll start by looking at the similarities between heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures. Heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures both consist of two or more substances that have been physically, and not chemically, combined. In addition, heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures can both be physically separated. On the other hand, heterogeneous mixtures have variable composition and properties, while homogeneous mixtures have uniform composition and properties. As an example of a heterogeneous mixture, we have drawn a mixture of liquid olive oil and liquid water. The olive oil and water settle into two layers, as water is denser than olive oil. As an example of a homogeneous mixture, we have drawn a mixture of glucose and water. 
the solid glucose dissolves in liquid water to form a solution. Glucose is present in smaller amounts, so it is the solute. The solution is mostly water, so water is the solvent. You can use tables like this to answer questions during exams. Let's revise the definitions that we've covered in this lesson. In the HSC chemistry course, you will need to distinguish between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture that has variable composition and properties. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture that has uniform composition and properties. A solution is a homogeneous mixture in which the dissolved particles are extremely small, consisting of one solvent and at least one solute. A solute is a substance that dissolves in a solvent to form a solution and is present in lower concentrations. A solvent is a substance that dissolves a solute to form a solution and is present in higher concentrations. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons on chemistry, check out our first video on separation techniques.